I almost greeted you by, I almost said Saturn. <laughs> Welcome to your horoscope. Capricorn, Saturn. Let's talk about it. Our ruler, the ruler of this world, who all the dark occultists worship. Because it's the master and the lord of this world. Let's not be the dark energy of that. We have a beautiful trine and earth to help us start off this Virgo month so that we are the master builders that we were born to be. Now we're in the planning stages. Sometimes we don't like those planning stages. Um, it could be a little bit tedious and the devil in the details. But God's in the details if you put them there. We have had a lot of hurt, lots of hold, things being held back from us, lots of holdbacks in our lives, hurt to ourselves perhaps, sicknesses, diseases, emotional breakdowns. The card, the wind just picked up and blew this card over and that hasn't happened at all. That's the Ten of Swords, mentally just dead. And that is the time. You can't be born unless you suffer death first. In order to be born here, you had to die to whatever you were before. Let me tell you what you were before, an angel. Let me tell you what you are right now. An angel getting ready to be reborn. And know that you were always an angel the whole time. If you die and reborn so much, then you're going back to the infancy stage and you have to redo that. Die and be reborn to a higher level. Make sure you're, we're spiraling up and we're learning from those lessons so that we could get the next ring of Saturn. <laughs> Saturn, black. The black robes that we wear is when we graduate. When we gain a ring, a degree. We move forward a degree in the zodiac. We've got 360 of them. <laughs> 30 in each sign. 30 pieces of silver. Because the moon is silver. The moon rules the months. Months and Monday. And therefore Christ sold for 30 pieces of silver as we entered into fall with this kiss from Judas, the Scorpio of the Zodiac. Zodiac. Mm -hmm. So hang in there and be thankful that we had this opportunity to blossom into this beautiful rose. We got Venus in about to in Virgo right now, showing love to the earth. Love the earth, get in touch with it. And get ready to start manifesting and being that boss that you are. Ooh, the cicadas picked up in their noise. Mm, I have a ring in my ear because my Capricorn best friend boxed me in the ear when we got into a drunken fight because of a battling over Dominion. Mars was in retrograde. This is when Mars stationed and it went over my, the sun passed over my Mars and my nail chart. Same day I got in a fight with my Capricorn friend. Now Mars just came backwards, retrograded into our first house, into who we are personally, and could have felt like a box to the ear. Now my ear's ringing. A Saturn ring I gained. All in the stars, as above, so below. So let us use this Saturnian lesson so that we go forward and let us not make people kiss our ring. Let us be that hospital. The, the Capricorn at its highest energy is the great host, the host of the Jubilee.
Virgo right now is asking us to be that servant to the greater good. Going through what is helping us, what isn't. Get rid of this. This is good. We'll keep this. This habit's bad. Get rid of that. This relationship is helping me. This relationship is hurting me. Sorry. Get rid of that. Self-induced suffering and pain. Let us get ready to gain as Saturn's moving forward now to do that self-work so that when it blesses our second house, it's not going to tear down our tower, but we're going to use that Saturn energy so it comes through and it blesses that project. Right now is to do the details and the behind the work scene, the rocky training on the steps scene, so that we'll win that battle against Apollo, the sun. <laughs> the sun's your enemy, sorry. But you bring them together. That's our trick, to bring all the 12 to the seven, to the one, with the three to the one. That's what we did, I saw three birds flying overhead before I started this. Three, especially 23, is our lucky number this month. This is our time to shine. I'm a Capricorn Ascendant. Learn your Ascendant. Your sun is what you are now. Your Ascendant is what you're asked to turn into. And your moon is what you were before and what you have to deal for with. This is Esoteric Astrology. We do videos on it. Uh, book a reading with me. We'll go more in depth into the chart. Uh, think about Virgo right now. We're in this, use these energy. This is where the sun is. This is the little ray. The sun. Raw. Amen raw. Let us be that great amen. And say, let it be done. You are the master. Shaolin monk and you're gonna have that guide in your head always kind of that strict father my dad's Aquarius ruled by Saturn he's verbally sharp but he's got a great love for humanity and service to the greater good is what we're asked to do to not be so self serving, but to not be self-neglectful. Replacing, restructuring our daily schedule, our regimen, and what's going to be more healthy for our body. And now, we're asked to be a little bit flexible. Look to the dragonflies. How did dragonfly fly over me? They bat their wings. 7,000 times like a second, something crazy. And they're iridescent, they're so beautiful. And they can change direction so sharply. That's what this Virgo energy is asking us to do. That game, uh, look, the kids are playing it. Fortnite. It's this character who's got all his w weapons and his construction stuff, and he's going through trusting and constructing as he's going, building a bridge as he's running over it. Virgo could be a fast time, so now we're moving fast. You see how fast I'm moving? I'm acting this out right now. We have to take and get grounded. Look to the Taurus energy right now. The spring worker. And let's get to work. Balance, not getting overly mentally active where we hurt ourselves but taking the middle path and not being petrified and not moving at all. That middle path of like, what's it called? Affirmative action, <laughs> like making affirmations and then acting it out, walking the walk. And the wheel of fortune this is, I told you, this is our, the wheel's moving forward now. It was going backwards for a little bit, and we're like, ooh, bam, boom, getting hit by the freaking spokes. 
And now, okay, have we learned it? Okay, I hope so. Because now we're starting to go forward. <laughs> get ready. People get ready. Do the rock steady. Uh. Oh, I just got a couple of raindrops. Lots of stuff happening during this reading. I'm surprised the heavens aren't going to open up behind me. They approve. In our ground, the world. Fixed earth. Take the elements you master and build them. And the world is yours. Victory, the wreath. Oh, this is powerful. In our recent past, we are being mentally sound and judging, cut away the BS. That's not good for our mental health. Crowning us a marriage, a celebration, glory. Our kingdom, God, happiness, the more the archway. Oh, yes! <laughs> Happy home. Ooh, now's our time to build that. We got that. Know that you already have it. And then it's going to show up in your world and it's going to manifest. You're going to have those haters and challenges. You got to put that work in because you're on top of the world. You're a giant. One. Last card. You're getting blessed with a creative project that was hard to get going, but now it's gonna start going. You put, do the work. Make sure that you got your stuff in order, that organization time. And you're casting a judgment on the stuff that doesn't work, and now you're rising from the dead and you feel like a newborn. Baby. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at this card that wanted to pop up. Told you, here's the Taurus energy. You are the Pope. Mm, come and get me, Pope Francis. You take this stage. You take the throne. You don't apologize for it. But you bring other people up, help them discover their throne and bring them to it. Regret, I know that I cannot change the past, but let that learn, let learn you. That's what Saturn does, teaches you lessons. Don't forget those lessons. Don't regret it. Because we learn from that and we actually put that there as a co-creator as we set this up with God before we came here for our evolution, to fulfill our desires, to experience what we want to experience. Now say, what do you want to experience? I like to experience happiness, a happy home, wealth, prosperity. Now I'm gonna trust that what I say, my word is, will become born as you're the king of manifestation in this world. freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This makes me happy. I want to experience happiness. These situations, these actual things would help me to have happiness as we are here in this material world. That's okay. Let us not apologize for that. <laughs> Blessings to you, Capricorn.